Uh, hi, everybody. My name is uh, David Ray. I'm the CEO and co-founder of a company named Anodot. Uh, I will give a bit background about the company, but uh, I would like more to talk uh, generic about uh, the AI world and the AI implementation in the business, uh, in the business space. So this is a little bit uh, about our customers. We are five years in the market, pure AI analytics under one big mission. The mission is how to operate business in an autonomous way. Um, I don't know if you know, but more than 90% of the market today take decision based on data, but mainly based on visualization. Dashboards. So dashboard is a huge market, $30 billion market. However, dashboards are expecting from the human being to understand what's going on in the data and to take decision. But if you, if you think about it, um, dashboard and human uh, are not enough. Uh, uh, the tool is not enough in order to understand what's going on. When you have so much data to analyze, are you taking the right decision for your business? You don't know, right? And there are many things that you don't know that you don't know. So Anodot came with a clear mission how to optimize your business by analyzing much more data than a human being can do by himself, by, uh, by visualization uh, or uh, except visualization, there are other, other way to analyze the data and the machine learning is the, is the part that we are focusing on. So we have developed uh, a platform, uh, an agnostic platform based on AI that is able to understand everything that is going on in your business data, in your big data, in order to take more effective decision for your business. And this is our vision. Our vision is how to run your business in an uh, autonomous way. Uh, so before I will uh, dig into uh, several solution around that, um, this is a quote that uh, I liked very much by Lyft, one of our customers. They are not wasting more time on looking on numbers of dashboards. And when we talk AI, we always think uh, that AI is a kind of... Uh, black box or magic box that will do anything for you. But we decided that in order to be practical, in order to have a product that we can sell to customers and bring value, we need to take it in a totally different approach. In an approach that there is an understanding that the combination of the human and the AI together will bring the value. You cannot rely only on the AI in order to do that job. Especially when you're talking about uh, agnostic world that will go to many verticals like we do. So uh, let's take a step back and talk generally about uh, AI. Uh, I can tell you that uh, my vision, when I started the company, I didn't know anything about AI. Um, and in my imagination, it was a kind of magic algorithms that will take your data and will understand everything that is going on with a, with a machine way, with a, uh, in an automatic way. But th this, is not, this is not the reality. The reality is that there are so many factors that, uh, sorry. There are so many factors that uh, are affecting the decision uh, of your business that it's impossible. Now, uh, if you take this mission of the AlphaGo, right? This is pure AI, but it has one mission. This mission is to beat uh, an AlphaGo player. They train the system in order to, to beat it. They train it on this one single task, but this one single task I will say is uh, in, a, in a wall garden, is well defined. But in other area, when you are talking about more complicated environments, you are talking about IT, business, uh, business data of FinTech, EdTech, 
e-commerce, telecommunication, the data is so different that it's impossible to define one mission that will solve everything. Impossible. So I, uh, I saw this slide from CA, which uh, I liked very much, uh, because there is a very nice comparison between the, uh, what is called AI ops, which is a very hot subject in, in the AI market today, and, uh, and the self-driving uh, autonomous car. Uh, I will say that it's very accurate in terms of the level. Uh, today, Anodot is around level three, meaning that we do the anomaly detection, we do the forecasting, but in order to be fully automated, you need also to do the remediation, the action part, okay? And the action part is a very, I will say, complicated because every company is as a different aspect of what is the action. What I want to do in this scenario or that scenario. And AI cannot guess that. You need always the human behind it in order to define. And this is exactly what we have done. We have built a platform that the human being will be able to take those building blocks in order to take the right decision for the company. So for now, our action is only to let you know about it is actually to send you alerts. If you think about it, we moved from the dashboard, pulling and looking on uh, constantly on business data with visualization to let you know exactly what's happening in your data. Um, why, why the AI market is so important? Why uh, companies are investing so much on, on, um, on, um, on AI? I will say the main, uh, the main goal to, for companies to use AI all over is to do less with more, or I will say better to do more with much more. Uh, the, the fact that you are putting AI in your organization, uh, this is a, a report by McKinsey, and it shows that in gross profit, you are improving in average 10% of your, of, your, of your gross profit. This is amazing. This is enormous. But of course, in order to achieve those 10%, you need to have an AI education all over. From the... Uh, education of your employee, uh, awareness, and of course, emerging and pl a, a plugging all kind of AI tools all over the uh, chain, the business chain that you have. So, uh, in order to um, in order to be autonomous or fully autonomous, uh, there are several models that uh, you can uh, implement or adopt. The, the most simple model is, uh, is this model of, first of all, define the action. To do something or to do nothing. To do something, you can define what to do, or you can define also that in those, in specific scenarios, you don't do anything. So when uh, I talked about the AI ops, it, this is exactly that. When you identify, for example, that you have a high peak in your CPU of one of the servers, this is the actually what is happening. The what is happening, this is something that we have implemented, uh, can be done by looking in the presence of detection, anomaly detection, or can also be analyzed in other way, uh, like a static way that are less AI oriented. Where is happening and why it's happening? Now this is another task that you need uh, usually the AI in order to do that uh, because it involves correlation. When you know that something happened like this high peak in CPU, you want to know why. And if you go up to the business, when you have a drop in your revenues, you want to know why. Unle uh, <coughs> uh, unless you know why, you cannot do the action, right? So. At Anodot, we did the what is happening, where is happening, and why. And as I said, the action, the do, uh, is the alert or the API that we provide to those customers uh, to make the action. 
Now, there are more complicated models, uh, and this is something that uh, we, with the time, move uh, forward, is also what if. What if is a model that if you are, for example, an ed tech company, or you are an e-commerce, and you want to know what if I put now $1 million on this campaign, how my revenue will look like, okay? Uh, so what if scenarios are also, uh, I will say, more advanced part? Uh, today we uh, have two services that we offer to the market, detection service, the what is happening, and uh, the forecast of what will happen, okay? And those building blocks are building actually the whole ecosystem around the autonomous business. In order to be autonomous mature, uh, there are few elements, must have elements uh, that you need in your organization. Otherwise, it will not work. One of them is commoditization of the data. Without the big data, without the streaming and data lake, no, there is no analytics tools in the world that can understand what is happening in your, in your business data. So what we see, uh, luckily, is that uh, most of the market is already there. The commoditization of the big data is already there. Everybody from startup to big company are saving so much data that today they don't get the revenue from it because they don't know what to do with that in many times. Uh, but the data is there and the potential of getting those revenue is there. Uh, the next part is the standardization. Uh, in order to be well-defined and to understand what is happening in your business, we need a standard way to understand data. Data can become in a structured way, non-structured, time series. Uh, at Anodot, we define to normalize everything to time series over time in order to understand what is happening by finding trends, seasonality of the data. Uh, and the last part is democratization of the AI. You cannot expect from every company that will have an army of data scientists in order to develop their own autonomous analytics. And this is what we want to bring to the market, the building blocks. So uh, when you are using this kind of product, our product, we, you don't need to be a data scientist. Uh, and taking those blocks and building them for your own business uh, this is uh, this uh, achieve this goal of being autonomous. Uh, so that's it. Thank you very much.